each year we produce more of these dangerous animals. It's just coming. You will see many, many, many more of these guys going off. I want to say thank you to everyone that has bought training and thank you to the people who are about to buy training and shout out to the nerd tribe. There was a study that came out that due to the advent of Tinder, we now have the largest population of men who are not having sex. And it goes deeper than that. These men are on the fringes of society. They're not financially successful. They don't have a, a strong group of friends. They're not getting female companionship. And this represents the most dangerous animal on the planet, the single broke sexless male. And we're pumping these puppies out left and right. Where does this start? It starts with the breakdown of the family. And we've been decades into this process. We have had decade after decade, some of the families are on their third or fourth generation of having young men grow up in homes with no strong, keyword there is strong, male role models, none whatsoever. And what it's doing is, it's producing this toxic animal, the most dangerous animal on the planet, the single broke sexless male. Who do you think these people are who are going into the church, this young man in South Carolina who went into a church and just shot 12 or 20 people? This is that dangerous animal. Here's the thing. We live in a world where we're being presented due to social media, the supreme lifestyle. It used to be when you lived in the United States of America, if you didn't know any rich people or worked for rich people, you had no real concept of what rich people would be doing or wouldn't be doing. Now we live in a world where it is shoved in your face. And this is what creates what I call a thirst. And the thirst is that deep desire to have that life. Uh, one of the things I will say about black YouTube, if you want to be successful in black YouTube, you got to use terminology such as tap in, no cap. You've got to be wearing a robe or you got to have the cubic, you gotta, you gotta have the drip. If you're in black YouTube and you're not communicating via those accoutrements, you're not gonna do well. You're not gonna do well. Or unless you're talking about how to develop a million dollars worth of business credit in less than six months. So you, you have all these faces. Now that's just black YouTube. Let's get to white YouTube. You as a young white male, this is the largest percentage of this dangerous animal. But there are black males who are joining in. But the largest percentage of this dangerous animal are single, broke, sexless white men. These are the guys who will get a notion in their head, you know, today I feel like I'm gonna shoot up a school and then go grab a gun and actually do it. Here's what's happening. If you are a single, broke, white male, you are hit over the head Instagram of people your age with a bodybuilder body driving a Lambo cuddled up with a Playboy bunny, Instagram girl, or in some cases, a porn star. So you're seeing this over and over and over and over again. Like literally, if you were to go to Instagram and count the number of six packs you would see, you would get tired before you got, you counted them all. So you're hit over the head. These guys have the body, they've got the money, and they got the girls. And you're seeing that, and you're seeing that, and you're seeing that, and you're not seeing the work involved. You're not seeing, like, I can tell you, I used to lift weights quite a bit, and to get a lot of muscle. Let's say you start off at 185 and you want to put on 50 pounds of muscle. You're looking at three to four years of work and they don't see that. They don't see the work. They don't see the behind the scenes. All they see 
is that presented image on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. And they don't, and they sit down and they're like, that guy's not that much different than me. And on the surface, that guy really isn't that much different than this guy. Except here's the thing. What you see on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok is a snapshot of a moment. You don't see the whole situation. You don't see all of the work involved. You don't see that, but you see that snapshot and you see the snapshot of this guy and the snapshot of that guy and the snapshot of that guy and the snapshot of that guy. And you begin to feel that what you want should be easy to obtain. Elliot Rogers, who was actually rich, but he was single and he was sexless, even though he wasn't broke. And this guy went on to actually kill people because what these guys, develop in their mind is this weird concept of what the world should be and he would go on social media and he would see white women with black guys with the six pack and he was like why are you with him he should be with me and they're completely detached from reality because essentially these guys feel that if they see an attractive woman and they want to have sex with this attractive woman, this attractive woman should bow down and have sex with them. Regardless of the fact that she's, whether she's attracted to them or not, that doesn't matter. This is how off base this dangerous animal is. This dangerous animal is operating on a bunch of false narratives. This um, dangerous animal is operating on a life that is devoid practical application. These men do not talk to women. They pretty much stay at home in the echo chamber and their community is the internet. So literally these guys are not trying to develop themselves. They're not in the gym. They're not out meeting women. They're not building businesses. However, due to the thirst, these guys feel that they should get the same things that the guys on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. And what happens is after seeing these images, sometimes for years and years and years, that bitter seed of resentment starts to develop. They start to become very, very resentful. And that resentment turns into a quiet, seething rage because they're 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 sick and tired of seeing all of these chads and tyrones living a life that they feel rightfully should be their life because once again all they're seeing are snapshots they're not seeing autobiographies of these guys lives they're not seeing this guy on instagram who seven years ago was skinny had a face full of acne and what he did is he kept posting on instagram and he started working out he went to a doctor he cleared up the acne he started he gained like 50 pounds and they don't they don't see even though this transformation is on the internet because this is one of the things I like to do whenever I come across someone's Instagram that's popping I like to creep down and see the beginning and it's always the same they're not posting that much it's nothing's going on and somewhere along the path you can see where they start to take off they they post a certain type of picture that's like it starts hitting and they start repeating that process and they keep winning but Here's the thing. These dangerous broke animals are not researchers. They could give a rat's ass about the fact that the transformational journeys of these so-called Chads and Tyrones are online. If you would just simply look, you don't have to get seek special permission to access this information all you have to do is just do a little bit of research but they're not researchers they could care less about researching and they can care less about the truth because these guys are living on a false narrative and these are the most dangerous animals on the planet because at the moment we have several ticking time bombs these are these young broke sexless men who are consuming all this internet garbage and they're getting madder and madder and madder and madder 
and it's just a matter of time before they act out in a desperate rage. Like this thing with Tinder, when Tinder came out, and this is something that I found to be really interesting. I was killing it on online dating, and at some point it changed. So what happens is in a online dating environment, the top 20% of the guys get 90% of the attention. And there are men who are on Tinder, Bumble, whatever dating app that you can think of, who've been on these dating apps for months, in some cases years, and they have never gotten a message from a woman. I want you to think about that. You've been on the dating app for many months, to years and you've never gotten a message from a woman. That is pure, unadulterated rejection. And this does not help their self-esteem. And this doesn't help their self-image. However, remember what I said that these guys were not interested in the truth. One of the things that you will see in this echo chamber of these dangerous, de desperate, single, broke, sexless men is an ongoing conversation of how bad women are. I didn't understand it. I didn't understand it for the longest of times because I have no reason to bash women all, every day, every video. I have no reason. Now, one of the things is because I have been getting what I wanted from women. So for me, I don't operate in that environment environment of other lack. Years ago, when I was really heavy with Bumble, I had figured out the Bumble algorithm and literally I would start getting matches and conversations within hours of signing up on the website. Why? Because I'm a researcher. I'm a data junkie. I look at things like that. So whenever I get into a situation, I look at the data first. I don't look at the website like, oh, these women don't want me. These women, are I don't look at it. It's like, all right, what is the data? And I'm, I'm, I'm about to give it to you. My most successful online dating profile was I was a data engineer. Because see, the job you have, because women are not stupid. You know, you could put it that you're a lawyer or an attorney or a doctor. And, you know, they're going to be somewhat dubious because a lot of doctors don't have time for online dating because they're too busy working. But that profile was one of the most successful profiles that I've ever put up on Bumble. Because I understood, and this is something that's going to be some news to you. In the online dating market, guess what? You are a product. You are a product. So if you understand that you are a product that you're trying to sell, it's a totally different experience versus I'm on Tinder, I'm on Bumble, I'm on any of these dating sites and these women ain't paying me no attention. Because you don't understand that as a product, you must make yourself appealing to your desired customer base. And that's one of the reasons that I did so well with online dating. And one of the things that so many men fail to understand is their place in society. And these dangerous, single, broke, sexless males, they're growing, they're growing. Each year, we produce more of these dangerous animals. And it's gonna to get to the point where, and I, I predicted this, I put out that, you were going, we were going to have our first female serial killer. That's already happened. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to have tons of these single, broke, sexless males committing serial killers. Number one, they're going to start killing women. One of the things that's going to happen is they're going to feel that they can extract revenge on these women who don't even know who they are, don't even know that they exist, but they're going to be in their mind, in their mind, extracting revenge against these women. And they're going to go out and start killing these women. It's just a matter of time before we're going to have one of these guys activating, so to speak, every week. It's going to be a weekly event that these guys are activating. Oh, this young, broke, single, sexless male killed 13 women in Spokane, Washington. Because here's the thing, they're everywhere. They're not just in the cities. They're in the cities, they're in the countries, they're in the they're in Canada, they're in Europe. I would say to a degree, not so much South America, but in any westernized country, there are plenty of these dangerous animals and they're extremely dangerous. 
and it's just a matter of time because here's the thing women are not that complicated they're not but because these men exist in a echo chamber where more single broke sexless men reinforce the message of apathy, reinforce the message of rejection, reinforce the message of no one gives a damn about me. This is what makes them these ticking time bombs. You will see many, many, many more of these guys going off. And part of it is the way that we're set up as a society. One of the things that is happening is the role of men has been diminished in society. Society. And as a man, if you do not go out and seek your own way and activate yourself in a positive manner, it's very easy for you to become part of this dangerous animal community. And it's a community. It's a big online community. And these guys are going to get more and more dangerous because the first wave is they're going to start activating every week. You're just going to it's like all of a sudden, and then it's not going to hit a national level. It's just going to be 13 women killed in Spokane, Washington. That's going to be on the local news. And what's going to happen is these dangerous animals are going to start to coordinate. And that's when it's going to hit the national news because you're going to have one of these animals in Spokane, Washington. You're going to have another animal in Kansas City, Missouri. And you're going to have another animal in Chicago. And they're going to have these coordinated attacks on defenseless women that have done nothing to them. And we're going to have these murder sprees. It's just coming. It's just coming. And that's why I call it, this is the most dangerous animal on the planet because you can be out living your life, doing what you do. And because these animals feel that you as a woman should present yourself to them, they're going to punish you by taking your life. This is what's going to happen. This is what's going to go on. And this is what's going to hit the population. It's going to hit the population hard because when I saw um, um, there was many YouTube videos talking about all of these men who are not having sex. And I'll do more videos on this because it's just deeper than men have. Men aren't men anymore. I should say it like that. Men aren't men anymore. And this has created this situation because it is partially the apathy of the common man. It is partially social media and it's partially society is set up. I did a video talking about why I didn't understand why a millionaire was paying a billionaire child support. And a lot of people got in their feelings because uh, it, it was crazy. It's like he's just paying child support. And that's another quirk in society because as a man, even if you're broke, you should be paying child support. And if you as a man are not directly handing this woman a check, even if you pick up your kids, even if you buy clothes for your kids, even if you read to your kids and spend time with your kids, you ain't supporting your kids unless you break that woman off a check. That's where we are as a society. You could show up as a father, you can buy clothes, you can be at school events, but unless you're cutting that woman a check, you're not supporting your kids. That's the fake narrative that we live in today. And it's really, really dangerous. And it's really, really because the thing is, it makes it seem for these hapless, desperate, broke, sexless men that it's not worth being a man because essentially to be a do right stand up man, you will be punished. So this just reinforces the desperation. This just reinforces the danger. This just reinforces the echo chamber. These guys are going to be start and that's going to be when when it's going to hit the national news, when these guys start coordinating and they start coordinating their murder sprees. That's when it's going to hit the national news, because you will literally have one of these dangerous puppies. Like I said, in Spokane, Washington, you would have one in Tupelo, Mississippi. You will have one in Birmingham, Alabama. You will have one in Atlanta, Georgia. But once they go ahead and create an online community, and they start to share how they kill and how they hunt, that's when it's going to hit the national news. And at that point, this stuff has going to be going on for years, years, years. And the most dangerous animal on the planet is the single broke sexless male who has no agenda, who has no agency, who is existing in these United States of America.